what's going on? And let me introduce you to Carol. There are a couple of mistakes that are happening with Carol's hair right now. And well, they are robbing some of that youthful appearance from her. I feel like I say this in every video. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is how this video series works. There are some mistakes that are going on. And so in the video, I'm gonna show you exactly what those mistakes are, uh, why they are not doing Carol any justice, and more importantly, how she can address those mistakes. Uh, and I will actually visually show you on a picture of Carol what those mistakes would look like if she took my suggestions. So yeah, that is what's happening in this video right now. Now, if you're new to this series, this is a series where I actually take subscribers that have sent in photos and I break down the mistakes that are happening with their hair and how they can address those mistakes. So yeah, that's actually what happens. And if you're new to this video, well then this probably, I just spilled, this probably seems pretty normal to you. Uh, but if you're not new to my channel, then you're probably wondering, why are you inside? Why are you not outside in the middle of nowhere talking about hair? For you newbies, yeah, that's a thing. I do that. Mm -hmm. Usually I take you on adventures while I teach you about hair because, well, it's more fun than sitting in a salon. But it is the holiday season. I don't have a lot of time and I want to make sure that you guys get a valuable video. So I'm at the house. There you go. And that is how this one is going to go. Okay, so let's talk about those mistakes. Now the first mistake that is going on with Carol's hair right now is kind of the length. And I know for many of you, that's gonna hit you hard, right? You're gonna, no, 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 people can wear long hair. And this is true. But in Carol's specific situation, it's not that she can't wear long hair. It's that right now with this particular shape, if you look at this picture, you'll see that her hair overwhelms her. She has wavy or curly hair and she has a lot of it and it's very coarse. And therefore it becomes larger than her. See, if you pull her hair back, like you see in this photo, you'll notice that she's got beautiful bone structure. She has great cheekbones, but once you let that hair down again, it just kind of takes over and it pulls the attention away from that bone structure and starts to bring her face down. Now the second mistake is that there just isn't enough layering in the front. This kind of is what I was talking about a little bit in the first mistake, which is just the length is overwhelming to her at this particular shape. If we broke the layers up in the front a little bit more, we added some layers in the front, you would notice that it would open her face up a lot more. It would start to help accentuate cheek structure and actually accentuate just her face structure in general and realistically just give the hair a lot more movement and texture and kind of a stronger overall shape. So layering in the front, that's one of the fastest ways that you can take the illusion of that much hair out of the equation and start bringing more emphasis to her face. Now the third mistake piggybacks off of both of those mistakes, which is just there's not enough layering internally or in the overall shape. Now, I don't have any backstory to Carol's specific situation, so I don't really know what her haircuts have been like in the past. But if you look at the profile, this is lending me to believe that there maybe was a shorter bob that was is being grown out. You can see that in this line right here. And it would also make sense because there's a bit too much layering right here in the nape. Now, if it were a shorter bob, this layering would actually make a lot of sense. And in fact, I would actually say that it's kind of a necessity for Carol's hair due to the amount of hair she has and her texture. But as that particular kind of layering grows out, it has a tendency to look a little bit too thin at the bottom and it doesn't really support the shape. More importantly, as you can see here, it actually creates this little point of bulk and really starts to bring the eye down and create too much volume in that area. Now, some layering back here to kind of break the shape up would help to take that bulk out of the equation and really start to open up that shape a little bit more, get a little bit more volume where we want it, up near the crown, and start to lift the eye again. Okay, now the fourth mistake isn't really as much of a mistake as it's kind of just a suggestion, maybe just something that I think might work really well for her. One of the things, and if you've got curly hair, especially thicker curly hair, you know what I'm talking about here. But one of the things that happens with a texture like curls is that it'll have a tendency to grow out, not so much down. It will eventually get longer, but before it gets longer, it's going to get quite a bit wider. So one thing that she could do would be to move her part just a bit farther over to the side to help create a little bit more inherent volume on the top. That extra volume on top isn't going to necessarily take volume away from the sides, but hair is an optical illusion. So the more volume we create on top, the less it will look like it has on the sides. And that's kind of the important part. Now, don't worry, you're gonna be able to see what all of these recommendations are gonna look like. And if, again, if you've been through the series, you know how this goes. Uh, and we're gonna be talking about some curveballs. And in fact, as I break these curveballs and suggestions down, there's a lot 
of insight for you curly gals out there. So you're definitely not gonna wanna miss them. Uh, I'm gonna be packing a lot of info into the next half of this video. So yeah, grab a seat, pay attention. It's gonna be a good one. Um, I'm gonna try to move locations here a little bit because I'm getting bored sitting here already. Yeah, ADHD, I guess. Well, let's find something new. Okay, so now let's show you the photos that would actually explain what the suggestions would look like on Curl. But before I do that, I wanna say uh, for sure that when you Photoshop curly hair, uh, you're not really gonna be able to see the exact shape that I'm talking about because it kind of loses the ability to really show the defined curl and the curl pattern and all of the things that kind of create a curly shape. Um, but with that said, I didn't wanna leave you hanging. So I did find a photo of a shape that's basically exactly what I'm talking about uh, for Carol. So I'll show you that at the end, but first let me just kind of show you these modifications on her actual photos so you can get an idea of how it works with her face shape. Sound like a plan? Okay. Let's dive into the first one. Okay, so the first mistake we talked about was just the length and kind of being too long. And it's not, again, that it's too long for Carol. It's just too long for this particular shape. And so this is what happens if we actually bring that length up a little bit. Now, when you look at the front, you'll see that that length coming up starts to bring that focus back to her face a little bit, it starts to be a little less overwhelming. And if we look at the side, the profile here, we just see that that kind of overly layered part at the bottom was we just kind of removed that and brought the length up to that line, if you will. But if you notice, here's the problem. See, many times when you have especially thicker curly hair, you can't just bring the length up or you'll actually accentuate some of that triangular shape that I talk about so much or that bulk on the sides. And that's kind of exactly what's happening with this particular photo. The minute we bring that length up, while it does help on some levels, it actually kind of creates a larger problem with the bulk. And that is why I was saying it's so important that we either layer the front or ideally layer the front and the back to alleviate that bulk once we bring that length up a little bit, which takes us on to the second mistake, which was not enough layering in the front. And then the third mistake, which was not enough layering internally. So I wanna show you what'll happen if we actually layer the front up a little bit more, open up her face a little bit more, break those layers up a little bit more in the back so that we take some of that bulk out of the back, creating a little bit more volume up towards the temple area and in the crown. And if we do all of that, this is what that will look like. Now, the one other thing that we did in this particular photo is I also moved that part over just a little bit. It was that last suggestion that I made in, after the mistakes. And if you see here, all of this does is it opens your face up. That part being moved actually creates a little bit more volume on the top. It helps to take away the illusion of a little bit of that volume on the sides. The layering in the back helps to take that bulk out of the side, so there's just not as much there to begin with. All of this layering and all of removing of all of that bulk helps to open the face up, draw more attention to Carol and not so much attention to just her hair. And now we are getting into a shape that is, I believe, to be a lot more flattering for Carol. And it really kind of allows you to see this amazing bone structure that she has that I feel like she should be showing off anyway, right? Now, as I said, you're not really gonna be able to get a good idea of what this actual shape would look like in real life. So here is a photo of more or less what it would look like. This is a bit more realistic. You can see there's a lot more curl definition. There's more movement. There's more volume in certain areas. But yes, I think this is a fantastic option. But you know me, and you know that I don't wanna leave you here. I always wanna throw in a little bit of a curveball. So let's talk about some curveballs. Okay, now I told you there's gonna be a lot of insights on this video about curly hair. So one of the things that I wanna talk about before we dive into the actual curveballs, curly hair is, is a bit more nuanced, I guess you can say, with the way you actually approach the cutting process. And what that means is you could kind of think of straight hair as like you're building a house, right? You're basically building a foundation, then you put up the walls, right? Then you add a roof and that kind of creates the overall house. Whereas curly hair is a bit more like you're starting with a huge chunk of clay and you're whittling away at the different parts to create the house. But the reason that I'm bringing this up is it because what I wanna make sure is that if you do go to a salon and you think, hey, you know what? I watched this video, a crazy dude that hikes in the woods and shows us photos of hair. He said, I need more layering at the bottom because, or on the sides because there's too much bulk. While that may be true, it is a little bit more nuanced than that. You wanna be a little bit careful because you can layer it too much. So the more important thing is that you say, I feel like I have too much bulk through the sides. 
Now let's take some of that bulk away. See so what happens here is the bottom starts to look a little bit thin and it doesn't really support the rest of the shape. Now in some textures, this works fine. And in some situations, it may be the style that you're going for. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so now let's talk about some curveballs. Now this is one great shape that you could do. And, and I love this shape because it's very similar to where she's at right now. And it's very similar to the suggestions that I made, but I definitely like this for her. The only thing that I would probably modify about this is I'll take a tiny bit more volume out of the sides. But aside from that, I think this would be a really good option. I usually, in these videos, I try to kind of throw some curveballs out that would maybe be something that the person who I'm actually using in the video would actually do, right? To give them a little bit more value. Um, and this one, I'm kind of going out on a limb because this is far more dramatic, but this is really short. Now, Carol definitely has the face shape bone structure and the overall appearance to wear this really well. This might be a little bit of a stretch, but I really like it. You know what the question is though, whether or not you like it. Uh, and then I always have to throw in this other little curveball of color. I don't for whatever reason, whenever I see somebody with gray hair, I immediately go towards the idea of adding some low lights. And nine out of 10 times, I would always recommend this to people because it really does add a lot of dimension. So if we did add some dimension in here through low lighting, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, the minute you add that little bit of dimension, the thing that I really love about this with curly hair is it gives it a lot more, more dimension. <laughs> I've said that a lot of times. But point being is it really defines that curl and it really makes that white in the curl pop because you're adding that dark to contrast it. This really gives the curl a lot of movement that sometimes curl can kind of lack the movement because it's actually, it just kind of blends into itself almost. So this is a really good job of making everything kind of stand out. It also adds some richness to her skin tone, which I personally love. All right, now with all that said, you know how this ends. You know that I'm more curious to hear what you think. So let me know, comment below. What do you think? Should Carol go shorter? Or do you think she should stay long? Or do you think she should grow her hair out even longer? Or do you think she should cut it shorter and or grow it longer and do color? There are so many options. <laughs> but I did wanna know, what do you think? So comment below, let me know. Otherwise, um, yeah, I wait till the very end to say this, but come on, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you go ahead and do that. You don't wanna miss when I bring out one of these videos. And more importantly, hit the notification bell. I hate saying that because I sound like such a YouTuber, but honestly, I do get people saying that they, wanna, they don't wanna miss these. And the notification bell is the only way that you definitely will not miss when I upload a video. So there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. With all that said, you have a fantastic day and we will see you next week with a brand new edition or episode edition of Hair Mistakes That Age You Faster subscriber edition. Yes, that's all. All right. Bye. I don't have a view to look at anymore. This is awkward now can't be like, oh, look, I'm just gonna hang out here and enjoy the sh lake. I'm gonna hang out here and enjoy the top of a gas station. That's actually what's over there. Gotta go.